Okay, guys. In today's class, we will see how to construct the involute of a square. Okay. So in this previous sessions, we discussed about the construction of involute of a circle. In today's class, we can go for involute of a square. You know that a square is a polygon. So a polygon, for example, you can have triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, all those things come under the section polygon. Okay. So in that way, we can construct the involute of a polygon. For example, in today's class, we will try how to construct the involute of a square. So here you can see that I have constructed a square. You construct a square of side 30 m. So this is side 30 m. So this side is 30, this is 30, this one, this one. Okay. So you have constructed a square of side 30 m. So for this square, we have to construct the involute. So while discussing the involute of a circle itself, we discussed that what is meant by involute? What are the applications of involute? So yeah, involute is a special curve, okay, which when we unwound a string, which is revolved around a circle, which we unwound a string, then the path traced by a particular point on the circumference of the circle is called as the involute. The same thing we can apply it for the square also. Okay, so where does we find this up, the application of this involute? This involute curve finds its application in gear tooth profile machining, gear tooth profile machining and in case of cam profile machining. So cam is a small mechanism which finds its application in internal combustion engines. So what is internal combustion engines? Internal combustion engines are the engines which find their application in your two wheelers, in your four wheelers, in all your vehicles, the engines you see that is petrol engine, diesel engine, all these engines are collectively called as internal engines. So for the opening and closing of the walls, that is of the walls which is used for supplying the fuel, for that walls to activate this walls, we have a small mechanism called the cam mechanism. So this cam profile will be similar to that of an involute, will be similar to that of an involute. So for this cam profile designing, we find application of this involute curves, right? So how to construct the involute of a square? Initially you construct a square of side 30 mm, okay? Now, Now we can see that we can have from this point A, from this point A, you draw a horizontal line, you draw a horizontal line. So this line is equivalent to, the length of this line should be equivalent to The length of this line should be equivalent to 4 times the side of the square. 4 times the side of the square. The side of the square is 30. Okay. So, 4 into 30, which is equal to 120, which is equal to 120. This length is 120. Okay. After that, from B, you draw a vertical line. From the point B, you draw a vertical line like this. Right? Then from C, you draw a horizontal line like this. So that can be of any length. That can be of any length. With your 2H pencils, you draw a thin line. With your 2H pencil, draw a thin line. Right? Then from D, you draw a line. You extend this AD and you draw like this. You can extend the line AD, right? You can draw like this. Okay. 
Now you have extended BC, you have extended DC, you have extended AD like this. Okay. Now you take your compass. Take your compass. So now this is the instrumental compass which is used for uh, constructing curves in whiteboard and blackboards. Okay. So I take a compass. So with the point B, you take the point B as center, right? Take the point B as center and this AB as radius, AB as radius, you construct a arc, construct an arc like this, okay, right. You construct an arc like this, right? Okay. So now you can name this this point as one. This point you can name it as one. Okay. Right. Then now you keep the point C as center. This one. The point C you keep the point C as center, and you take the C one as radius. C one you take the C one as radius. Okay. And you draw, construct the arc. You can construct a arc like this. Construct a arc. Okay. So now you can see that. So I extend this line. Okay. Now you can name this point as this one, this point as this point as 2. Okay. Right. So now, so with B as center and with A, B as radius, you have drawn this arc. This is 1. With C as center and C1 as radius, you have drawn this arc. This is point 2. Right. Now, you have D as center. You have D as center and You have D as center and this D2 as radius. This D2 as radius. You draw a arc. Draw an arc. Okay. Right. Now we can say that this point can be named as 3. This point can be named as 3. This point is named as 3. Now what you have to do? You need to have your point A as center. This point A can be kept as center and you can have this one as radius. This 3. 3 as radius. You draw an arc. So it will exactly come and meet there. It will exactly come and meet there. Okay. So now you can see that this point is 4. This point is 4. So now this path traced from here. A1, 1, 2, 2, 3 and 3, 4. And 3, 4. This is the curve. This curve is the involute of this square. Involute of this square. So you have to draw only this curve using HB pencil thickly. All the other things has to be constructed using 2H pencil with thin lines. Okay. So I think better you would have been very clear in doing this. So similarly, you can construct the tangent for this curve, normal for this curve as usual. As usual, you can usual procedure, you can construct the tangent as well as the normal. Okay, right.